Welcome back, everyone, to Test Run, World's Testing. Uh, I'm again joined by Chris for another game of his sync deck versus my good stuff uh, Valencia Estevez deck. So let's see how this round goes. I'm going to mulligan this hand, and good luck to you, Chris. You too. All right, we're keeping. So let's see. OK. I tend to take like kind of weird turns with this deck I found. Like leaving HQ open is, I don't know. It just seems scary for the runner. Like what is in there? What a Faustian bargain. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I just street peddlered so you can understand my terrible burden. <laughs> okay. OK, so on this one street peddler is a wild side, a mimic, and my a copy of Desperado. Oh, I mean, it's. I'm gonna take the uh, the wild side, but that's awful. Well, the like, wild side finds you a desperado, so that's right, good. right. But I'm just like, what a terrible, terrible. Uh, oh, that's a pretty nice thing that pull as a last click. Stall that adjusted chronotype for no money. Seems nice. Great. Yeah, that that seems pretty good. So this is a very fundamentally different start than the one we had last round. So we'll see how that goes. And you're already at 15 credits, which is less than exciting. So I need my imp to get rid of midseason replacements ASAP. Because, you know, I don't like you. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put that into play before the turn starts. And let's get rocking and rolling. So I'm going to draw a click one. Sure gamble, because, you know, it's pretty good. So as far as starts go for a Val deck, that's pretty damn good yeah it seems good uh let's see hmm. making pancakes party all night cook all day all right so click one let's run hq Um. Yeah, let's make you pay two. Oh, is it a or, base trace of two? Or three. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's no, a base trace. Bad, bad pub. No. Bad pub. Yeah. Three. Space. Um. Let's uh. Let's run R and D. Show me that data. Sweet, sweet data, Raven. Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna be sad. I mean, I'm not gonna be that sad. Like. Now, if I hit. A kitty face? Okay, I was about to be like, I'm gonna be so mad if I hit a cat face. Like, and then of course in this game, that card and server one is probably not a news team. It's probably the Astro. Oh, it's not the Astro. Thank God. <laughs> Oh my god, what a difference like my sense of pressure is on this when I don't have when I actually have wild side pancakes out early. Yeah. Like knowing that I don't have to spend two clicks a turn trying to find options is like magical. Yeah, I think you're getting ahead right now. I would I think you're getting quite a bit ahead. So I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Not gonna lie. Scrubber. Uh -oh. Here, that I mean, it would be good against other people. It's less good against you. It just makes it so that I can trash Jackson for free, essentially, once I get through the server. I like Scrubber. I think it's going to be a very good card, especially since I'm starting to see rumblings now that you and uh, my friend Brendan basically got me back interested in the stim hack forums that um, there's rumblings of basically HB Glacier coming back because the runners that are strong against nbn are weak against glacier oh interesting uh hmm hard decisions so now i'm running into some hard decisions here let's do i'm excited for you to have hard decisions I can't remember if you run sand sand grids in this thing. 
You know what this deck probably needs? Faust. It doesn't have Faust. It just runs normal it, breakers. It just runs the normal Anarch breakers. Why does the oh yeah? So click one, click two, uh oh, click three. Cool. Jack out, and then draw a card. Yeah, I really can't remember if you run Sand Sands in this deck. I don't. I might want to run one though. Though I have biotics, so I don't I don't know if I really need them. I could probably get away with running a single one. I want to see what's here. Yep. Nope. Not doing <laughs> that. OK. Um... Yeah, where is that? Okay, gotta get rid of some stuff. All right. Okay. All right, let's run HQ. Tick tag? Sure thing. I'll take those back if I uh, don't need them. So I'll get take the two credits back because I could have done that with the, um, oh no, it's only one credit because I already spent my bad pub. Let's remove the tag. No, uh, yeah, you spent your bad pub. Yep. Hmm. Right. Another copy of Desperado would be good, but I needed that sweet, sweet wild side. Oops, that's a mistake. Sorry. It's all right. Give yourself the credit back. Yep. There we go. Cool story, bro. All right. So I think you run, you run one David in there or two? Two. Yeah, seems pretty strong. Got to have two Davids. That's a bummer. It would be more. It would be more of a bummer if I also had Desperado and Data Sucker in play. True. Very true. Or if there was a news team in there. Yeah, like I said, that uh. That uh, data data, data dealer? dealer is looking better all the time. Tick tag trace. Did you not boost it? Okay. No. Come on, big money. You're killing me, Smalls. Yeah, I need Faust.
guess the real question is, is what do I think that is? Ho, ho, ho. Now we're playing interesting stuff. <laughs> I like it. All right, so let's take all the money there. Let's do that. And then let's do server one. Blackmail. Got it. Yep. It's going to be a news team. Oh my god, it's not a news team. I stole, an, news team. I stole an agenda. It's a point. It's a <laughs> point. <true. laughs> All right. Um, and then let's run server two and see what you res. Womp womp. Well, that's awkward for everyone. Strength seven. Uh, last click, yeah. Just pay your seven, yeah. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's not terrible. It's better than me losing everything in the back row. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, phew. That's pretty I was good. like, I was like, if I get to the bottom of that and it's a news team, I'm gonna go get on a plane to Seattle and break your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't you don't need this anymore. Okay. So things are starting to get pretty interesting. Let's do an archives run. Oh, there it is. There it is. Why you got to play me like that, man? Uh, it's just uh, you know, got to be the, reporting. Just, just the games that we play. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get that down. Then we'll hit that once. I would also love to find Clot. Clot would be pretty great right now. Yeah, SMC Clot is just really sounding better all the time. Yeah, I think that's the best way to deal with this kind of deck. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of that. And then I got one click left, more money. Cool. You're, and people were saying, they were asking me why, why is biotic? necessary in this deck and I'm like well that's why because sometimes people don't tag go tag me and you're like well I just want to win yep so, it's kinda, very important it's pretty good uh oh yeah that's right uh oh yeah that's right um it's pretty good yeah it's, it's not it's not bad <laughs> Uh, all right, you got it. Yeah. Man, <laughs> that's that's rough. Okay. You get it? Yeah. No. Ooh. Hmm. All right, so now I've got the medium and the Atman in play. Yeah, that's uh, that's a at problem. Atman at six is no joke. That is a problem. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
I actually put the Atman into this deck specifically for Gutenberg. And Archangel, per our discussion with Dean. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, it's pretty strong right now. Yeah, because you actually were the one who mentioned this. You're like, hey, I think Atman at 6 is going to be a thing. Yeah, so I'm just deciding what I'm going to discard. Got a lot of stuff I kind of want. <laughs> Uh, how many news teams are you running in that deck is it three three yeah yeah that seems like the right number like i'm not i'm not even being like flipping about that like i'm 100 percent. that's the right number i just i need to pick I'm hoping that I can pick an Astro on one of these R&D runs. If I can pick an Astro on one of these runs, things get very, very good for me. Yeah, I agree. That's also very good for me. I'd like to say that I'm sorry. Uh-oh. But I'm not. Sorry, not sorry? Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Uh, okay, well, where's that? Pay a buck. Okay, pay a buck. So, yeah, you're basically running for free now. Oh, Seems yeah. Good. Breaks even. Now, let me adjust my uh, agenda points. Okay, what do I want to do here? If you were me, what would you do? Would you hammer R&D more and give you more money to score the Astro? Would you try to pick the Astro out of HQ? Uh, it's a tough one. You know what I'm saying? Like This is where yeah. I get to against these sync decks where I'm like, do I take the one in five chance of, you know... I mean, there, things could also be in archives. So, but you Yeah, but there's, there's almost definitely news teams in there. Yeah, there probably are. <laughs> All right, so I, I actually think that the smart move is, as you say, let's run archives. I'm going to take a couple news teams maybe while doing it, but I'll enrich R&D. Well, at this point, you can actually get away with taking tags because the quantum predictive models are kind of gone. Right. Like, there's only one left, and one of them doesn't doesn't win me the game. I'd have to, like, score another two-pointer or a three-pointer. Yeah. So, yeah, That's, I think that is the right play. Um, I mean, I could take the tags, but then that gives you the opportunity to trash all the shit in my back line. But do I necessarily right. care? Because things are about to get very exciting for me in R&D. Yeah. Or not, unless you're holding all the agendas in your hand. I found that that's kind of the trick with this deck, is to keep the runner guessing where everything is. Um, man, that progenitor is doing some work right now. It's pretty nice. That's the idea. Yeah. Gain a buck. Yeah, that's why I added progenitors, because I was like, how can I play Val that's based on... This actually idea came from a friend of mine, Brendan, because how can I play a medium-based deck in a two... Hmm. Archangel. Well, that's pretty interesting. Bouncing that at minute six seems pretty good, good. doesn't it? Hmm. Are you going to use it? No. Okay, I'm continuing. Okay, I gotta get rid of something. Um, that means I can look forward to an Atman score this turn. An Atman score? Not an Atman score. You know what I meant. Master score? Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely what that means. Yeah. Okay. Uh. First things first, let's take all the money. Let's put Clot down. <laughs> uh, let's run R&D. Okay.
let's uh, do that. You can't do anything with Archangel. Nope. Okay, I'm going to ask you a very serious question. Mm -hmm. Do you have any agendas in your deck? Uh, uh, yes, there are agendas in my deck. But at the moment, if you score all of those agendas, you will not have enough points to win. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So you're at two agenda points right now. Uh, and there are only four points for you in the deck. All right, well. Good. Uh, right, no breaks. Yeah, so this is this is a frequent situation I've ended up in where I've just been kind of like waiting. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh okay. <laughs> that could be bad. All right. I'm going to lose my money. Don't go running R&D then because you'll just give me more money. That would be bad. I would really love it if I could find my second copy of Parasite. It's somewhere. I think I can afford to run R&D once. Well, there are two agendas in there, so yeah. One in five chance about. Wait, where oh, did all my three. where did all my virus counters go? You have a one in three chance of hitting one. Uh, you purged when you ran archives, so it went down to one, and then you haven't run again. I, don't, I think, right? Let me check. Right. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So, good game. Good game. So, yeah. so my real question is: is how, like, just to be completely honest, like, how do I win against this deck? Like, I'm having such a hard time. Yeah. Getting the agendas I need. Like, do I just need to play a deck that has like? I think the issue is is Anarch doesn't have legwork. That's true. Like, Anarch. Nerve agent. Nerve agent's pretty good right now. Um, that might be something to play. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I think I'm losing these games because I can't pick the agendas you're waiting to score out of HQ, and I'm not getting enough value from those runs because I'm almost always taking a tag. Yeah. So I, I think there's a couple of philosophies, at least with people I've played against. Um, and honestly, I've only lost once with this deck, and it's against a Val medium uh, DLR deck. So basically what happened was it was just... Uh, you know, progenitors and um, hive mind, and then blackmail R and D for like 12, 13 cards, and went, win that way. Um, right. So that's the only game I've lost with this deck. Uh, but I think what I would do is I'd consider putting a way to remove agendas from your um, agenda score area, so you can uh, get rid of the news teams. That's one way to do it. If you just want to go clean, because you have a lot of resources, you don't really want to lose them. Um, but I've seen a lot of other people do is just go hard on tag me uh, and uh, like legwork HQ early and then just let them score all the cats and try to score everything else. And, right. and that's, that's an option. Um, and I think that can work really well. The big problem though is if you do that too early, you make resistor insanely hard to break and then you just ta you get taxed out of the game. Right. Um, and I think siphon decks have a better chance of of pulling that off because um, they can, you know, basically reduce the corp to zero almost, and then they can just pay through the resistor. Uh, but see, I find it very hard to land siphons in the current meta. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's hard. Um, 
It's easier against this deck because I have like literally three, four, four, and they're on ice, one wraparound and three resistor. That's it. Everything else is porous. Data Raven is kind of an in there on ice. Most right. people drag out. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's hard. I think I think actually you played it very right and, and just got unlucky. Like um, when you ran HQ, I think you ran HQ twice and I had Astro in hand and you hit Psychographics and something else. Right. And uh, that was just unlucky. Like I also had a like three, I, at one point I had three quantum predictive models in hand and you missed all of those too. So uh, yeah, if you didn't, if you've legged worked that time, it would have been pretty miserable. Uh, you actually would have given me the game probably if you'd like <laughs> legged worked or you know, nerve agented. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, this is actually one of the reasons I'm interested with this deck. It's just so hard to beat and I've had trouble beating it too. Like uh, Kate has a lot of trouble just because she's slow. And um, she doesn't want to run through data ravens, but has to check all these these servers. You can kind of play shell game in a way, like I was doing earlier, just like make you run, make you waste time, right? Uh, and just set up to get the astro, right? I don't know. All right. Well, thank you again, Chris, for the game, and thank you everyone for joining me for another episode of Test Run Worlds Training. You can find NR Black Hats on YouTube and also on iTunes, our podcast, and on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please give me feedback on how to adjust the deck or adjust my play in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>